Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly. Email tmaso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we're discussing a watch launched in 2014. This is the Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter GMT chronograph, and it is all of those things. It is also large, 44 millimeters in diameter and stainless steel. The watch is 17.6 millimeters thick. From lug tip to lug tip, 51.8 millimeters, and from end length to end length, the total distance across the wrist is 56.1 millimeters with a 21 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll pop open the clasp, throw this watch on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, and I'm gonna recommend your wrist be larger than mine. If you're gonna wear this watch, I think it's appropriate to have a wrist of 17 centimeters circumference, but I'll let you be the judge taking a look at the sizing and the fit, including down the barrel and over the top. The cuff shot, however, reveals that you're going to need a jacket cuff to surmount that case flank. A, sh a shirt sleeve's probably not going to get it done. It is massive, and you can feel the heft and the substance. This watch feels like it's indestructible, like it must cost forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000. It's very impressive. Omega watches have been quite thick in recent years as they lard on complications and capability, but in return, there's also a kind of solidity unheard of in the Omegas of the 90s and 2000s and profoundly impressive in the hand. We have a bracelet here that is similar to the one that's been on the model line since 1993, but it's more sporty today. As you can see, the shoulder links are more squared off than rolled. We do have some polished intermediates that creates a little bit of a dress watch, sports watch, hybrid appearance. And then we have removable links fixed by screws, a big upgrade over the previous generations, which would have had removable links fixed by pins and sleeves. You can also see intermediate sized links in there in case you find yourself in between sizes when sizing the bracelet. There is a fold out dive extension milled from the solid, quite redoubtable, and then a thick gauge steel single fold deployment clasp with twin trigger release. Taking a look at the profile, we have Chronograph pushers that look like they might be screw downs, but aren't. The watch is still 300 meters water resistant, but those little coined shoulders are not screw downs. Actually, you can activate this chronograph at any time without having to screw in or out chronograph shoulders. Helium escape valve, so if you're a saturation diver and helium intrudes into your watch, well, you open this little valve and as you decompress the internal pressure of the watch will rise to two to three bar and at that point the helium escape valve will vent the helium out of your watch so it does not displace seals or crystals 120 click bezel let's hear it These big diver 300 meters have some of the best bezel feel of any diver 300 meter. And part of that is that we have a larger diameter bezel that allows more mechanical advantage when turning, making them easier to turn and more responsive. The detent quality is extremely high and the 120 click action allows you to rapidly center the bezel pearl on the minute hand for timing a dive. Take a quick look. You can see in the dark everything on the dial, including the chronograph seconds hands, as well as the sub registers fully loomed. And you can see that the bezel pearl and the minute hand are both green. So you can rapidly distinguish them from each other in the dark to get the timing at a glance. Uh, taking a quick look at the chronograph, you can see that it is a vertical clutch. We have both a column wheel for function selection, traditional, upscale, and super crisp in its feel and sound. Now we have a vertical clutch to engage the chronograph without any jump or stagger to the chronograph seconds hand because this movement is based on a high horology Frederic Piguet 1285. It has that upscale combo of vertical clutch and column wheel. The bezel insert is all ceramic for scratch resistance. We have a crown guard around the crown itself and there are two subsidiary setting modes. One allows you to step the local hour time. You can see that the local hour is moving forward and backwards, not affecting chronograph time, not affecting the minutes, not affecting that second time zone in red. So I can make those changes, even driving the date forward or backwards, no issues there. And then if I pull the crown out again, I activate hacking or stop seconds. This is an upscale dial. We've got white varnished hands, the skeleton style, so-called James Bond hands, made famous from the years that 
Pierce Brosnan wore the Diver 300 meter in his turn as Agent 007. Then we have a concentric circular pattern emanating out from the center, as well as sub-registers magnified for chronograph minutes and hours, then somewhat minimized for running seconds. We have applique indices, a step up from the Brosnan era when these would have been printed dials. And there's a flange outboard against which you can read minutes, seconds, and chronograph fractions of seconds. Nothing to see through the case back, but we have that Omega Caliber 3603 in there. Again, Frederic Piguet based. Automatic winding, coaxial, as George Daniels intended, a high horology flourish from the world of independent watchmaking. He invented it in 1974, Omega industrialized it in 1999. Today, it allows these watches to achieve greater intervals between services, improved power reserve, and improved chronometry. And again, this is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer adjusted in five positions. It also has an automatic winding 52-hour power reserve. It has a free-sprung balance for greater precision of adjustment and shock tolerance. It's a 37-joule high horology movement with that tandem of the vertical clutch and the column wheel. And all of this water resistant down to 300 meters with helium escape valve. Reach out to Tmaso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.